Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of IFS Insider YouTube video series. I'm Tarshi Piris. I work as a lead software designer at Projects R&D. In this video, I'm going to show the new interactive project Gantt in IFS Cloud, which helps project planners to make planning phase easier. Let's take a simple scenario. Assume I'm Alain and I'm the project manager of a chip building project and I use Project Gantt to create my project plan. First, I will go to Project Gantt and search for my project. Then, I'll expand my project to weave the entire WBS. Here is the graphical representation of my project and these thin bars to represent the sub-project, these thick bars to represent the activities and we have used different color to represent the task of the activity and also the diamond shape is used to represent milestone activity and this vertical red line is to represent the current time. Now I need to add a new activity to my project. So I can use add new activity option or I can draw a square like this to create a new activity. I'll create a new activity for procurement now. If I need to adjust the duration of the activity, I can do it just by dragging the activity like this. Let's create the dependencies between the activities of my project. We can do it by selecting two activities which we are planning to create dependency. In my case, since there are a few more sequential activities, I will select all of them to create dependencies just by one click. Now, my project WBS is updated with the dependencies. I just noticed that designing of hull and rigging can be done parallelly, not sequentially. So, I'll change the dependency type between hull and rigging as start to start. And also, in order to execute the project smoothly, without any exceptions, we have to complete the procurement phase on or before 31st December. So, I'll add a not later than constraint to the activity procurement. Let's do a quick schedule to find out the possible completion date of the project. To see the project span at a glance in a single screen, I'll change the time scale to quarter week. In the project Gantt, you can define your preferred time scale as primary time scale from the settings. And also, if you require to hide current time, dependencies or tool tips, you can do it here. Now we can see the critical activities of the critical path in red and the float calculated for non-critical activities. To simplify my Gantt weave, I'll hide the float for the moment and I can do the same for constraints or activity tasks as well. Those are some interactive features we have introduced in Project Gantt in IFS Cloud and this concludes the session on project planning using Project Gantt. Thank you for watching this insider video and do not forget to subscribe IFS YouTube channel.